Hi everyone, it's Becky Livingston from Penn Heel Marketing and today I want to share some really great information with you about how to boost a Facebook post like a pro. Is your firm or company using a Facebook page to help increase its social media reach and possibly grow leads? If yes, but you're not using boosted posts, you could be missing out on some great opportunities. For a very small budget, you can boost posts that have great impact reaching an audience you may not actually have access to any other way. So let's get started. How do you do it? The first thing you want to think about is making sure you log into your company page, not a personal page on Facebook. The next thing is you want to go to a post that you've already done. And in the bottom corner of your post, there's a little blue button that says boost the post. Click on that. It's in the lower right corner of the image. The next step will be to use a call of action. The call to action is what you would use to explain to visitors or viewers what they're actually going to be doing. In my case, with the seven SEO tips your boss wants you to know, I want them to learn more about those seven tips. If I had a product that I was trying to sell, I might use Shop Now. If I had an event I wanted people to register for, I might use Book Now. Or let's say I have a catering hall or I want to make people have people make reservations. I might use book now. Sign up is great if you're trying to promote uh, signups for your email newsletter, for events, for registrations, and that kind of thing. And the last one is send a message. Send a message would be you want them to send you more information that you're looking to have before you contact them. So those are different kinds of actions that you would want to have on your action buttons. The next step is to insert a URL for your landing page on your website. This is not the home page on your website. This is not a generic page on your website. This is the actual URL that you want people to go to when they click that button for the call to action. In my case, learn more. I want to send them to the blog post for a seven SEO tips your boss wants you to know. In that blog post, I also have additional calls to action, but that's what I want them to get to when they click that button. It's very important that you send people where you want them to go. The next step is choosing your audience. This is where I think it's the most fun because you can actually create posts for certain sections of your target market, whether it's males or females, a certain age group, a certain geographic location. If you wanted to split test something, you could do the same um, gender and age and pick a different location to see which one does better. You can also include interests, which I think is a very interesting way to increase your boosting power by choosing your target market's interest. In my case, small business owners. I could put accounting in there. I could put uh, professional services, financial services, small businesses that focus on certain industries. There's lots of things I could put in the interest area. So it's really important that you know who you're trying to target with your ads and you're not just kind of throwing this out there hoping it sticks. Once you've chosen your audience, you want to click save in the bottom right corner and move to the next field, which would be your budget. You can boost a post for as little as $5 per day. However, if you do that at $5, you will only have one day option. You won't have multiple days as you can see in the duration panel below. If you increase your budget, it will say, for example, here, you can spend an average of $5 per day. This ad will run for two days because my budget is only $10 and it will end on March 22nd. Now, the more money you put in this, the longer your duration and potential reach of people, but that doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money. You can boost several posts a week for just $5. You just have to go in and do this process more than one time a week or possibly more than one time a month. For example, for $25 a month, you could boost five different posts on your Facebook page to target audience members. Uh, for more than that, you can boost more posts or you can have a, a post run more than one day. So decide how long you wanna have a post run, see how well it does with your target market, and then move forward with your budget and your process. The last piece is the payment process down in the bottom left corner. You will have to uh, input a credit card to make sure that the payment can go through. And then once you click boost, it's done. You have no option to go back and, you know, change something at that point. So make sure you've got everything in there the way you want it to be before you boost it. 
click the boost in the bottom right corner. The last piece will be um, closing the window. So you've added your total budget, you've chosen the duration, and now you want to click boost. You've done all of those steps. And then in the last screen, it'll say close in the bottom right corner. Make sure you do that step because if you don't, then the, boost, the, boost, uh, the, the boosted post won't go out. But remember, once you do this, it's done, it's going, you can't stop it at this point. So now that we've gone through some of those things, consider doing this, subscribing to our newsletter. We only send one email out a month and we often fill it with five to six tips in there that you can probably use for any part of your business, whether it's a small business, a medium size, a big business, a niche audience. Look at our newsletter options. We get, if you click on that link right there, you'll see some samples of our newsletters. If you wanna see a sample, email me and I'll be happy to send one over for you. Here's who we are, this is what we do. You've probably seen this before. Lots of different kinds of services for small business owners and CPAs. Hope to see you soon and uh, keep on marketing. Thanks everybody.